Hi folks, I'm glad you're all here. Thank you very much for joining me once again. I hope everyone had a real nice New Year's last night, early this morning. Here we have a view of the Old Faithful live webcam. Yeah, I was noticing that um, we got more trees. Looks like they're dying. I think they're dying. I don't think that's covered in frost. Um, the solar flare that came off the sun yesterday, which was a class X5 solar flare, impacted the earth. I talked about that, how it was going to probably create earthquakes here. And about one hour after I went to bed, after watching uh, New Year's come in at New York City and Chicago, well, it did, causing a magnitude 7.7 .7 earthquake there in Japan. And Yellowstone is a rockin' and a rollin' also today. I thought it was going to impact the Earth because of the uh, radio blackout that shortly occurred afterwards. It was initially what they called a tsunami of radiation. And it's not over yet. It's supposed to impact the Earth tomorrow. We might see northern lights tomorrow. Adverse weather, more earthquakes, and possibly... Of volcanic eruptions. If the fault lines are ready to go off, yep, this could be the trigger to make it happen. If a volcano is ready to go off, this could be the trigger to make it happen also. So I'm going to play this for you. I probably have to bring it up a little bit so I can turn it on. But down here, this is the uh, radiation, the protons coming off the sun from that X flare. And originally they thought it might miss it, miss us. It might just slightly impact us, but now they're showing, saying that it's going to be on the second. You can see up here at the clock, the time. And watch that bottom one right there. Okay, on the second. Yeah, look at that. Amazing. Now, I believe this will be universal time. I could be wrong. There's a plasma radiation and radial velocity kilometers per second right there where it starts see that yeah we're gonna be heading for some interesting look how yeah look at that yeah i might unplug my refrigerator and different appliances tonight just to be on the safe side i always um unplug my computer at night and there it goes into the third, so it's going to be, let's see, it's going to continue for, let's see, what, maybe into the fourth? Yeah. Yeah, probably into the fourth, close to the fourth, between the second and the fourth. My own personal opinion, the areas I would look for the next, ma next major earthquake would be along the Aleutian Islands, possibly Alaska. Um, yeah, maybe even Washington as the uh, seismic wave, the pressure makes its way around the ring of fire. Yeah, look at that. Uh, yeah, dirty. Now, I've talked about when the geysers are showing gray like this. I've seen it as black as coal in the past. That means the ground is heating up, melting the rock that's there in the crust of the earth. And that material is coming up uh, with the steam. Saw some strange lights last night when I was watching before I went to bed. Um, probably planes. I don't know. I will post that later. I do have it ready for posting. Um, but it was a view probably from this direction. And there were some strange lights that came from the top of the camera and then disappeared down below the mountains i don't know they were like they were blinking red but there was one that really flashed a bright red it's like whoa and i saw one shooting star which was really cool so i downloaded four different monitors the one on the left is maple creek that's where i expect the next eruption probably to occur madison river maple creek area and that is the area where it had its last major eruptions, there has been smaller eruptions, about 40 of them since its last major eruption. 
one of the larger, smaller eruptions was about 70,000 years ago, and that was in the area of the Pitchstone Plateau. The next one is Holmes Hill, and the one second from the right, that is the borehole, a very deep well under the ground. So it only picks up activity that is recorded coming from the crust of the earth. Uh, borehole 950. Then we got West Thumb. It doesn't show up on West Thumb. Something's going on with that monitor. I don't know what. But it has not been recording like it should be. They weren't off about the size of the earthquake that much. Um, they said it was uh, a magnitude 3, what, point three, but I came up with a 3.42. And there was actually several earthquakes within this location. This was an after effect. Let me go, go up over here of the earthquake that happened there in Japan. See, this is the first wave of the earthquake. See that? Look at that, how it shook up there at Yellowstone. Yeah, harmonic tremors. And then when the impact came in, yeah, more harmonic tremors. Yep, shook up the caldera. But if you look down here at the bottom in the last oh, couple of hours, at 741, that's it right there where that earthquake happened at for the 3.4. There is a lot of earthquakes that they are not reporting. They are reporting one, a 2.0. At 5.49 a.m., um, that would probably be considered a foreshock. That was about two hours before the magnitude 3.3 or 3.4. That's it right there. A little concerning, this 2.0, which was probably the foreshock, was down here in the area of Heart Lake. This here is um, Pitchstone Plateau. Reason it is so concerning is it's a foreshock and it shows that the magma was coming up and this was the area once it did its counter clockwise rotation from the last major eruption um, going from the north to the the south yeah this is where it had its last eruption or last unzipping before the two resurgent domes um, collapse at the same time. Yeah, that's in that area there. That is a bit concerning because that was the foreshock. Shoshun Lake and then we got Heart Lake and I've talked about this a lot. It was deep, yeah. But they are saying it was only 1.6 miles in depth. And I would have to say that this was a volcanic tremor. So let's go to the borehole because it only picks up what happens under the ground. Is that it right there? Yeah, that would be the uh, 2.0. <coughs> Whoever did this earthquake, they didn't fudge it. In fact, comes up as a 2.07. Where we got 37 earthquakes other than the other two that they are not reporting. 37 of them. Example, at 738 there at Yellowstone, we got this one, um, 736, excuse me, this morning. That one comes in as a magnitude 2.14. I ended it really early because there's another quake right afterwards, right there. Let me go to the seismic signature. I'll have to make that bigger. Okay, let me close that. Open it back up. Yeah, there's a, there's a little one in there. It doesn't show it. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, that's a, a magnitude 2.14. 8.01 a.m. Yeah, we got another one. Let's see. I'll cut it off before the other quake. That comes in as a magnitude 2.03. Now, that one is fault movement. As you know, the ground is getting very brittle there, like glass. Yeah, we got, yeah, fault movement. 8.37 a.m., we got another one, a 2.17. And there's a little popping right there. Let me go to the seismic signature. Yeah, it keeps going little on me, don't it? I don't know why. Right there. 
Okay. This other one that I just did, which is um, a 2.11. It might have moved on me. No, that's right. Okay, that was fault movement also. We got a little bit, one little thing showing how we got magma rising coming up. And then over here, we got another one. Yeah, look at the heat. At 8.57, that was a magnitude 2.37. And then we got another one right there. That would be a magnitude 2.35 at 8.58. And let me bring it over. I'm just going through the larger ones as they come in. Okay, we got this one here at 1500 Universal. 8 a.m. this morning there at the park. That one comes in at a 2.29. Remember when they start having magnitude twos, that's when they're supposed to get worried. Okay, we got another one. About a minute later at 8.01 a.m. That comes in as a magnitude 2.23. At 8.05 a.m. a 2.10. It could have been a little bit larger because um uh, yeah it rattled on for quite a while let me go through here and then we got this one at 8 43 a.m that comes in as a magnitude 2.67 and then we got this one down here at uh 9 30 a.m i added in some smaller quakes that came in afterwards but that comes in as a 2.54. And then when I pulled the files, we got this little one here. And this one here. Let's go to the seismic signature unless it's going to go too small. So we'll have to. There you go. Let's extract that latest one. Yeah. Okay. Fault movement. Yeah, I'm getting really brittle. We got magma coming, coming up. Okay. And then we got this one. Yep, fault movement, magma on the rise. Now, once again, this is the bore hole. It's a very deep well under the ground. It does not pick up anything from outside. Absolutely nothing. And we got some little ones that happened prior because, you know, the ground popping there. Let's look at the spectrogram. We got one there. Uh, is that it? Right there. All right. Try and find them. Another one there. Ground popping because it's so brittle. Another. And then, you know, let's take a look at the seismic signature. Yeah, this is all harmonic tremors. Magma on the rise. Coming up. Filling up the caldera. There at Yellowstone. Yep, what a way to start 2024. So be aware that between the second... And the fourth, we'll probably have more earthquakes. Extra food, water, definitely water. Uh, medical supplies, um, an alternative power source. If Yellowstone ever does go off, it would put out ash that would settle on the power lines, which would cause arcing, and it would shut down the power across the country if that was a significant earthquake, volcanic eruption. Look how dirty that is. They're looking at um, beehive. And often when they have that little side squirter, that means beehive's going to go off shortly. Yeah, please be prepared. It's getting late in the game. Now, in Japan, when they had their major earthquake, uh, when one of the convenience stores reopened, um, I am sure they ran out of food within several hours because there was so many people who did not have extra food and water they um, stormed the store to buy what they could and with the roads all destroyed there wouldn't be anything coming in um, to resupply so keep that in mind you should have there's my clock going up you should have those supplies so you're not out there with all the other people trying to get uh, whatever you might need at the last minute have it ahead of time don't wait until after the disaster. That's plain foolish. You know that. You've been told this multiple times by all kinds of people and the government. The government will not come to your rescue. They're only going to be worried about 
thinking about continuancy of government. Yeah. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye. Thank you.